All right, everybody, thanks for stopping by today. We are gonna be opening up a Gym Heroes Japanese pack today. Cool thing about this set is that you are guaranteed to get a holographic, and uh, let's take a look at what you can actually get in the set. So hopping over to pokelector.com. We'll take a look at the cards you can pull in the, the so the set's called Officially Leaders Stadium. It was released in 98 in Japan, and this is the Jim Harrow's equivalent, the Japanese equivalent, that is. Let's see what we can get. We get Scyther, Mol Rockets Moltres, uh, really cool Gyarados, cool Pikachu. I believe there is also a band card in this set as well, which oh, I think I may have missed it. There it is, Misty's Tears. So that would be a cool card to pull as well. But before we get into opening that, let's do a little bit of uh, 151. So these are still pretty available at the time of opening, at the time of this opening. Let's get that. Get on in here. You get obviously the trio of the Abra Alexander Cadabra, which is pretty neat. And you get the four. 151 packs. So, yeah, let's get into it. It's a really fun set to open. Uh, it's probably my favorite set since Celebrations. At least I've had the most fun opening it. As we get a Geodude, Golduck, Pinsir, Bill's Transfer, Squirtle, Graveler, and a regular Hollow Bee Drill. Now I've pulled a couple of the alternate or illustration rares as they call them now um, and there's that code card remember if i shared the first one uh, i pulled the charizard i pulled the venusaur the uh, squirtle and we get a wigglytuff ex so i pulled a couple of those i pulled the charizard one and actually one of my first packs that i ever opened Ooh, there's a the damage on that card we got a Pikachu, so it'd be nice to pull another illustration right today. It's been a little while since I've opened this up, and we're getting another regular holographic. So, our last pack from this box, hopefully we can do a little something. It'd be nice to get better than just an EX. Uh, War, War Turtle, Venomoth, Tangela. Two Wigglytuffs, awesome. Well, fret not. We have one more box of 151 for today's video, so let's do this. Okay, they're not opening overly nicely today. Slide that bad boy out. So we get the Electabuzz, we get the Jumbo Zapdos EX, which you've all seen, and four more packs. So, yeah, the pull rates, I've had pretty mixed luck with 151. I mean, early on, I was getting... That was when I hit all of my illustration rares. Maybe it was just because I was opening more. But I've had tough luck with even with ETBs of this set recently. And a Marowak Hollow. I'm not sure I've seen that card too many times. Yeah, there's still a lot of cards that I need to pull from this set. Not that I'm a completionist or anything like that, but it's cool to see them. Cycling Road, Horsey, Graveler, and Gyarados, Holographic. All right, so, uh, you know what? Let's, I guess, see if we can get another Wigglytuff at this point, because that's kind of the way we're going. We're in Abra. Pentacruel, Snorlax, and yeah, this is the, I believe that's the slot where if you were going to get, as we pull a nice Ninetales EX, uh, if you were going to pull an Illustration Rare, think it's in the second reverse slot, which, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with the two reverse cards, it's a little interesting, but it's kind of nice to always get a holo, I guess. It's kind of diminished the regular holographic even a bit more, but I digress. War Turtle, Gengar, 
Squirtle, okay, there we go. So, I don't have a hard time pulling this card, but we'll take that. There's some stuff on it. And we also get a Jinx EX. Well, let's see how we look here. Centering is pretty okay. Um, maybe a little bit of whitening. Um, a little bit of damage on that corner, maybe too, but. Um, and the worst thing with the Scarlet and Violet that I've really noticed is these vertical and well, horizontal two print lines, and then see there's one there too. Um, you can just see the grid line, which is kind of annoying. But let's get this sucker sleeved up. And then we'll get to the main event of today, which, as promised, is our uh, Gym 2. So like I said, holographic guaranteed in these packs. Uh, let's check under here. So this is from my collection. I purchased this probably about a year ago or so on eBay. So let's see, uh, I don't know. I think I want to open from the bottom. So let's, one last time. Sealed Collectors, Virtualize. Let's try to save the pack art. Um, okay. And also I think the Hollow is the first card. So I'm going to do this. That guy there, and now we should be good to go. Okay, so there's a rare right off the bat, Brock, which is cool. We got uh, is that Lieutenant Surge, and then we got uh, okay, I've never seen that card before. Wow, four trainers in a row. That's you don't see that anymore. We got Brock's Geo Dude. Now we got a uh, Misty and Cedra. So let's see if we can get that band card. Uh, we've got a Psyduck, Misty's Psyduck. And we're getting close here. Uh, Erica's Oddish. And this might be the one. It's not. <laughs> Another Oddish, okay, back to back. Interesting how different they Look in these two different photos, the color. All right, and what I believe is the rare. And okay, we got a Misty's Tentacruel holographic, which looks to be a bit off-centered, but that hollow pattern is very nice. We have a little, well, something that looked like it kind of wanted to be a swirl up there. So let's flip over to the back, we got a little something there, which that's unfortunate, um, but the centering on the back looks pretty good, so yeah, not a PSA 10, but uh, we will take it nonetheless, uh, oh, it feels weird to sleeve this looking through a camera, but um, yeah, here's our polls from today, guys, thank you for stopping in, and uh, we'll see you next time.